So this is a guy who basically uh, he had a female friend that was joking with him about something that was that the girlfriend he was dating found inappropriate. And she just ended up being like, well, uh, I'm going to block you and I'm going to just leave out of here. We're not seeing each other anymore. Meh, 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 and doing all that stuff. Right. So I think this is the update to that. So from that, this guy says my ex just posted on her social media about some new guy, 24. She's into him five days after she left me due to my female friend stupidly joking flirtatiously, saying I am sexy. My girlfriend left and blocked me after that without even talking about it. My ex is 10 years younger than me and is an avoidant who is emotionally immature at times, mainly due to her blocking me. Now, five days of no contact from her. She's already talking about a new guy. My relationship teachings from dating coaches calms me because I wonder if it's a rebound relationship, but part of me is afraid she found the one. Well, the reality is whether uh, technically any woman that somebody, anytime you date somebody after a previous person, by default, they're rebound. That doesn't mean the rebound can't work out, but by definition of that, it does mean that yes, rebound things are happening. But the point is this, is that you're, you're already giving you're giving on one hand reasons why she's a horrible uh, person to date and then saying, we just don't want to date her. Like you said, she's an avoidant. She's immature. She clearly doesn't know how to have proper conflict resolution. And yet, and still you're like, but I still want to get with her. And I get it. There's an, at the point that sex has happened at the point that like you've dated somebody for a minute, there's always that emotional pull and there's that bond that's there. And so our brains can't handle quick change. Like your girlfriend going from like, I'm seeing you one minute to like, oh, this other girl flirted with you. So I'm out of here. Our brain likes to have things like if they're going to go away, they go away like slowly like this. Like if you guys have been fighting for six months, you'd be like, OK, I get it. It's been slowly going downhill anyway. So I'm not as hurt about it. But because she just went like that, that's what has your brain in a tizzy is this idea that like she should have just left. And what I had to train my brain to understand is that ultimately at the end of the day, we are all humans that have the right to make our own choices. And at any given time, whatever it is you think you have could change. So I just learned if I'm dating a woman, I remember I was dating a woman years ago and we were dating and then things started to get a little rocky, but we were still like, I thought in good terms. And then she hit me up and, hit me up and just like, hey, I don't think this is working out. And I was like, oh crap. Now at that point, I'd already started, I'd already kind of been in the thought process of wanting to dump her. But the fact that she just did it so abruptly, I was like, why am I, why am I feeling this way? Like, like I was going to dump her anyway, but because she just dumped me so suddenly, it's like, what the freak? I thought like our brains aren't trained to just handle that quick change. And so I feel sorry for you. I understand this. And it's one of those things that like, as part of your growth as a dater, you have to understand that sometimes women aren't going to give you the, the, um, Call the come down from the relationship. Sometimes they're gonna just be like, uh, I don't want to see you anymore. I'm out of here. And it's gonna be hard to deal with, and you're gonna have to fight through it. And I can tell you on the other side of that, it gets better. You will be fine at some point. Like five, six years from now, you will not be thinking about this woman anymore. This 24-year-old woman who couldn't have a mature conversation with you about why she was feeling the things based on, and by the way, the fact that don't believe the hype of like she saw your female friend tell you a joke about having a sexy butt and then she's going to get mad. Oftentimes I find that if you have, you have women out there that aren't able to actually like go to a guy and say, I'm not interested. I want to break up. So what they'll do instead is create scenarios that allow you to look like the bad guy and for them to now be justified in leaving, which in this case would be, Oh, your female friend said a thing. Oh, uh, I'm hurt by that. Oh my God. I can't see you anymore. Because the fact that she had a guy five days later, that's very suspect. More often than more likely, she probably had that guy as an orbiter around her, either on her social media or in her actual day-to-day -day life. But that guy was already somewhere in the picture. And maybe she probably, maybe she'd start liking him a bit more and was like, I gotta think of a reason to get out of this. And she found it, you know. But regardless, all we care about is the end result, which is if she's not trying to actively be with you, then you using your brain power to try to focus on getting her is wasteful. Like you have your 30, you say you're 10 years older, so you're 34. You can get more 24, 25 year olds. You can get 30 or 40 year olds. The, the, the window of women that you are able to access is wider than this one chick that's trying to act like she doesn't have any sense about her, you know? So I don't feel sorry for her. But anyway, so he says, I must admit, three days later, I sent her a few paragraphs trying to explain myself and ask her to talk to me. Never do that. 
I know it's stupid to try, but darn, emotions make some of us do crazy things. But here's the thing. The, the, the world at large is not going to allow you to be, is not going to have empathy for you for acting in spite of your emotions. Like if you're logically saying, I know I shouldn't write this chick, then it's better to go with that because the world's not going to be like, but if I write an emotional thing, then she's going to suddenly change her mind. That's not ever going to happen. In the history of foreverdom, no, very few guys have been able to write a a full paragraphs out note to a woman to explain why why he still cares for her and why she's acting the way she is and how she needs to straighten up his net and have it work. That only happens in the movies. Your life is not a movie. So you have to know, logically, when you feel yourself attempting to make an emotional decision that you yourself know is not going to benefit you in the long run. Anyway, he says, I know I may look a bit weak. You do. But how can we call ourselves adults if we do not act like adults? An adult would talk things out. Well, see, the thing is, the problem is you're you're saying that adults should communicate in one way. And you're not recognizing that women oftentimes communicate in vastly different ways. And so for women, when they start feeling things that don't gel with them and their partner, sometimes they'll have a conversation. And sometimes in an attempt to try to avoid seeing the pain and hurt that's going to happen from that conversation, they will just bail out. As far as women are concerned, that is adult conversation because it's, it's adult it's adult communication. By her ghosting, it's letting you know that she's not interested. And she's assuming that as an adult that analyzes things, you're going to get that. So you have to remove this idea or thought of what you think should be adult communication because the reality is all we care about is what communication is going to make her feel good. And so for her in this situation, what felt good to her was not talking to you anymore. Now, is that acceptable behavior? It is not. But your goal is not to try to negotiate people into your way of trying to communicate, especially those that are showing disinterest in being with you from now on, you know? Anyway, he says, as an adult, I want to talk things out because my female friend's stupid flirty joke makes me look bad to my now ex-girlfriend. Again, dude, like really, you really need to take all the onus off of your, your uh, friend for doing the flirty joke for just say, simply saying, hey, so-and-so with a sexy ass. Like the reality is that is a very low tier uh, flirtation. And that is not one that would cause most women to be overly mad especially if you weren't trying to flirt back with a girl or were at the very least being like you know hey that's whatever but like i got a girlfriend here like you're 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 giving too much credence to like this being the thing that destroyed your relationship i can assure you it was not and if it was it indicates a woman that has a very low level of self-esteem to where she's not confident that that girl doesn't actually want you by doing that kind of joke in which case she did you a favor by removing herself from the situation because even though you're hurt now i can assure you whether it's that guy she's with now or the next guy she gets with she is going to be a toxic partner to anybody she gets with if per your words she's avoidant but per your situation she's one that gets easily offended and butt hurt by a certain situation i can assure you i've dated women like that and let me tell you it is hell to pay dating a woman that is sensitive to every little thing that either you say or that your friends around you say all right anyway he says, in reality, I never cheated on her, not even once. Now, oh, it makes me think my it makes my love think I cheated. When in reality, I never cheated on her, not even once. She now she does not trust me. That, again, that's what she's telling you, dude. The reality is she just wasn't interested anymore. She's using this whole scenario as an excuse to get with other guys. Despite my female friend supposedly trying to help me get her back. I've seen a few messages from my female friend addressed to my ex-girlfriend explaining that she jokes like that with everyone. I even tried to send a snap, uh, a screenshot of my female friend calling one of my guy friends sweetheart to my ex-girlfriend on Snapchat, but she's either ignoring my messages and or I'm unfriended. Well, what you're trying to do now is you're trying to use logic in order to change how she feels about the situation. And as I've said in that previous live, that's not going to work. You trying to bring logical facts and pictures and things, it you can't you cannot argue your way out of how a woman is feeling about things, whether her feelings are valid or not. In this case, I don't think they are, but again that speaks to her level of self-esteem and her ability to have a, a, a proper conflict resolution, which she is not of the of one to have. So again, you could try to out logic her 
Outlogic a woman has never or rarely in the history of women been able to change a woman's mind until she feels the thing. You, if you were going to try to win her back, you'd have a better strategy of just not talking to her. How do I know this? Remember that girl I said earlier that she contacted me and said, I don't think we should be a thing anymore. You know what I said back to her? I said, um, okay. And then I left her the freak alone. Three days. It took three days for her to contact me. Hey, so I was thinking we should have like a breakup hook out hookup session. And I was like, what is going on? But that's because I never tested out just like letting a girl be like she wants to leave and me just saying, okay. But lo and behold, it actually worked because now I'm not showing that I'm desperate or need for attention, which now makes her think, why isn't he desperate or need for my attention? Like, does he have other girls he's possibly chasing? Like, but I'm so great. How can he not want to chase after me? But you doing all this chasing, she definitely knows her value or worth if she didn't know it before because you're being this needy little simp that is trying to like reach out to somebody that is clearly not showing interest. You do not win women back by doing that. And I don't mean to insult you by calling you a simp, but your actions are, are that of somebody who is simping for a woman that is not interested anymore. And you cannot simp for a woman in order to attract her more. That's not how this works. So anyway, he says... I do not know what to do. I even prayed over this. Please stop. I am barely holding on to hope, hope that it'll turn around and perhaps be a rebound. Well, even if it does turn around, the reality is either she's not interested or if the rebound doesn't work out, she's going to see you as the guy that just is there to give her attention and possibly go back to you. But right now, as I see it, this is not a situation where she's looking to get back with you because she would have contacted you. She would have talked to you. I don't think this is a situation where she's trying to make you jealous. I legit think that she's currently trying to move on or that she was already putting a plan together to make that happen. And just when, when, the, when the female friend gave you that compliment, which I'm considering it a compliment, mind you, that she was like, oh, yeah, this is a, oh, you hurt me. Oh, my God. So don't fall for her tears. Don't fall for this whole like act she's putting on. The reality is that she just wasn't interested because if she was, this incident would not have bugged her to the point where she would have just left. Unless this is like the fifth or sixth time this has happened. But assuming it's like the first time that this kind of thing happened, then she's not acting from a, a solid space and you should not even be paying attention to this because the whole time you're moping over this girl, stay with me now, you could be chasing after other women who would actually want to date you. Anyway, says now now dating advice says it could most likely be a rebound because she seemed depressed the last five days being by herself. No, that's not it. And I guess her female friend was trying to persuade her to move on because now she's focused on a new guy. Five days ago, I was her guy. Any advice would be great, but I definitely need prayers. Is this a rebound she's in? Well, it is. But whether it's a rebound or not, the fact is she's with another guy, at which point you stop chasing her because if if she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. You chasing her is not going to make her think, oh, he's putting a lot of effort and energy into chasing me. Oh, my God. He must really like me. Let me go back to him. I was acting irrational. That's not how women function. If she wants you, she'll feel that she wants you and come to you. But you cannot force it. That's why I say it's best to just leave her alone and let her decide her own accord if she eventually wants to get back with you or not. But in the meantime, you should be chasing after other women who are better than the shit. Yes, there are women out there based on the situation I have in front of me right now that are way better than what this chick is going to be. And then he says she was in a few before they all last within a week. So I am waiting a week and focusing on trying to have a good day and work on my art. What we should really be focusing on is moving on. Like you should be focusing on your yes, work, focus on your art, fo focus on your goals, but also focus on dating other women that are better than this. She's 24. She's acting like this already. She's not going to get better, okay? So while you're pining after this woman, who, by the way, is not currently thinking about you, isn't trying to reach out to you, is trying to hook up with another dude, you could be hooking up with other women. You could be going back out there on the market on online dating apps and on dating things and like actually meeting more women who will be better than this one. I don't know how you met this chick, but I can assure you she is trash. She is low quality. She is not of high value. And I say this is a guy, again, look, I just, I'm older, I'm 42, and I know I, I mention my age a lot on this here, but the point is, at the age that I'm at, I've just seen so many scenarios where I look back at all the women that I focused on that maybe we had a good hookup or two, but ultimately they were playing games, they were trying to get with other people. I had one girl hooked up with that she wasn't seeing other dudes, but she was seeing other women, and I only found that out because we were playing Truth or Dare, and Somebody had asked me if I, because we had hooked up and then it had been like a month 
where like I try to take her on a proper date, try to ask her out again. And it was just like no answer, no response. And then at, at the time, my apartment was like the party apartment. So me and my roommates, we would throw parties that people come over, we play games. And so we play truth or dare. And so somebody had asked me, had I hooked up with anybody since the last time I saw this chick? And I was like, absolutely. And she was offended. She was like, how could you, how could you hook up with other people? Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, I was trying to contact you, but you weren't, you weren't hit me up. So what was I going to do? Wait around. And she was really offended by that. So then somebody asked her, well, have you hooked the truth of dare or have you hooked up with any guys since, um, since you and uh, Harry hooked up? And she was like, of course not. And then my good friend from out of the pocket says, have you hooked up with any other women though? And she was like, uh, and everybody was like, ah, oh my God. But the point is this, right? Is that I was trying to focus on making something happen with somebody that was clearly not showing signs of interest or or at the very least she was wishy-washy with thinking that she could still keep me on a hook. Right. And I found myself like in situation and situation like that, where I finally got to the point where just like, why am I putting so much effort and energy on women that are interested, like the amount of time I'm trying to sit there and mope about them and whine and complain about how, why can't they see me? Where do they see something in me versus this other guy? The whole time that I was doing that, I could have been on an app swiping through women because I, I have a whole program at my website about smart digital dating, about how to get women. Like I can go on a dating app tomorrow and probably have a date by like this Friday, you know, like it's not hard for me, but I was so focused on like, I, I have to make this work with this girl. I have to make this be a thing. You know what all that is? That's all ego because our egos are designed to protect us. And so our egos are saying we are good people. We are the heroes in our own story. Everybody should like us. And when you find somebody that initially liked us, and then stop liking us, our egos can't take it. And so our egos, because they're designed to protect us, are now trying to think of all the ways it can use to be able to convince itself that it's still good by way of having this person come back to us. And the reality is we all have the right to choose who we want to be with and not be with. And sometimes that means that it's not going to feel fair when you want somebody and they were with you, and then they decide they don't want to be in your ballpark anymore. It sucks every single time. I get it. I've been there. It is not a fun thing to go through. But guy, you got to learn that's part of the game. You have to understand that, you know, all the hopes and dreams you have with this person, they were just fantasy. And that at the end of the day, as a guy, you cannot live in fantasy world. You know, you have to live in the world of reality where it's like, if a woman comes and goes, they're like buses. Another one's going to come by and you're going to be able to get her. But You focusing on this one, you're going to waste time and energy on her and miss out on the other women that are in your life or around you that would actually date you if only you would pay the freak attention, you know? So I don't know if anyone I said is going to help you. Again, I feel sorry for you. I will keep you in my prayers in terms of like, you know, you getting over this situation because this girl is trash. She's not worth it. And if she's not able to see the value that you bring to a situation, then that is her loss, not yours. And you will find somebody that eventually appreciates that, you know? So hopefully, guy, some of what I said helps you out. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high.